Hello Aquarius, it is AD with Chaos Tarot and I'm going to be doing your end of May reading for 2019 guys. Thank you so much for tuning back in Aquarius. I'm so happy to see you, you know, hear you hopefully in the comment section, you know, as we grow and expand guys. Welcome back if you're old, welcome, welcome if you're new. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also check out that description box below on information on how to book a personal reading with moi. And follow me on Instagram, guys. I really want to start putting more tarot and all that other stuff into my Instagram. But I'll only do that if I get more followers. You know, followers here. But it's more personalized. You can see the artwork and other stuff that I work on. And I'm going to be sharing music and stuff on there. So, yeah. If you're just interested <laughs> in me, I guess, in Instagram, then just get out on over there. I really appreciate it, guys. All right. Without any further ado, enough about me. Back to you. Let's get into this reading. Let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. Ooh, love. Right off the rip, some of you guys could be coming into um, contact with a soulmate, twin flame, an ideal lover, all right? It could be a fire sign. Could be a fire sign, someone with kids, someone who works with kids. All right, let's see. Whoa, guys, look. Wow. I'm curious about this spread, okay? <laughs> Woo. I'm like, am I crushing on Aquarius right now? I'm not. <laughs> but if I was, I'd be hella happy, okay? Or hella jealous. <laughs> Let's see. All right. and one all right interesting no flyers oh, might have spoken too soon though no. all right interesting no flyers <laughs> let's see what's going on so underlying energy we have aquarius is the eight of swords okay so this is all about anxiety and a, a lot of you guys this, this tension ego 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 oof i'm hearing like oof ego <laughs> i don't know what else to say <laughs> wow um ego bro ego um Mm, let's see the rest of the spread. Let's see the rest of the spread. Let's see the rest of the spread. So we have the star card, which is your energy, popping up as the heart of the reading. The nine of pinnacles as the foundation. All right. We have the four of swords as your present energy. The queen of wands. Ego. <laughs> I got a big ah, ah, ah. ego. She love my big ah, ah, ah. ego. That's literally what I'm hearing, guys. Queen of wands is the most likely outcome. And then we have the ace of pinnacles coming in as your most likely outcome. Um, as the card of a, as a card of advice. All right, we made it through. Interesting, guys. So a lot of you guys, for one, you could be receiving a lot of attention, or you received a lot of attention in the past, and now you want to break from it. But it doesn't matter because it's coming back in, and it could lead to resources. Speaking of Instagram, some of you guys are going to pick up a lot of followers on Instagram. You're going to pick up a lot of clout there. You could even turn that into some sort of sponsorship. And I'm just saying that because of. I mean, woof, the star right over the Queen of Wands, which are like my two main um, celebrity cards. Like I always say, the Queen of Wands is my Rihanna card, okay? This is my Riri card, okay? She in this bitch. She own that thing, all right? She steps into the room and it lights up, you know? You just notice her. You're going to feel like that. But the cool thing about this particular reading, guys, is don't let your ego get in the way, but because... This is a really stable foundation that's being built. Well, you'll be able to have your independence and found your your own independence, your own financial independence, and you are, I'm hearing, worthy. I don't know. A lot of you guys may be thinking that you don't deserve it, um, and your insecurities or something is being picked at, and, and insecurities straight goes into ego. And I always say this, you know, Who gives a damn? You know what I'm saying? Who gives a damn? And, and Aquarius here, particularly with the star being this, the heart of the reading, y'all are the champions of who gives a damn. But for some reason, you forgot your own advice. And your ego suffering 
from it, all right? You're you're suffering because of it. You know that you're a strong, independent woman, okay? You know that you're a strong, independent man. You know that you can handle it. You know that you have a grasp on reality. You can get the finances in check that you want to. But for whatever reason, you have told yourself with the aid of with the eight of swords here that you can't, it's not possible. It's too good to be true. And so you seem to be fighting against it because there does seem to be an opportunity that's coming in for you that is going to bring you security. All right. And the ace of pentacles can lead to the 10 of pentacles, which is stability, a solid, solid, solid foundation abundance. All right. Um, even though I don't have this deck, I'm hearing cornucopia, just a, fruits, vegetables, a lot, just things to pick from just a lot, a lot of, blessings all right and it starts off as a seed you guys are coming into contact with that seed <laughs> sounded kind of sexual <laughs> not gonna lie but um you guys are coming into contact with that next part that very first investment that very first part that's going to lead you into this divine path all right and then and again because i saw so much partnership it could be partnership union in your work it could be a contract that you sign you could be bringing in new people into what it is that you're working on but there is an underlying energy of anxiety but with the eight of swords i just want to stress this enough because the cards answered this the, the eight of swords this is something that you've Put yourself in the situation, you know, this is all your inner thoughts, your inner works. And it could come from people because somebody could have a bigger ego than you. Somebody could be trying to, with the five of wands here, this could be somebody outside noise, okay, that has somehow got you in your head, which is really weird because Aquarians are phenomenal, okay? Y'all get the award for being like, who gives a damn? Like, I don't care what you think about me. I'm me. And if you don't like that and accept that, then it, then whatever. I don't understand why you're not carrying that same energy. You know, keep that same energy. Keep that same energy, Aquarius. I don't see why you're not carrying that same energy with you in your finances and business. I mean, you're doing it on a personal level, but it seems like when it comes to business, you're you're stalling in some way. But with the star card, this is ultimate wish fulfillment that's coming in and, and it's going to be wish fulfillment for your resources and for your money. Okay. With that ace of pentacles here. So there's a healing that's happening and to, because of so much pinnacle energy is here is happening within your resources and finances, your home front. All right. You, you could end up if you had like a bad roommate situation, it could end up working itself out. It's that type of practical manners where something is going to be worked out, okay? The best thing that you can do right now, it seems Aquarius, well, maybe not the best thing that you can do, but it seems like what you're doing right now, I'm sorry, is taking a break, all right? Whatever was shook you to your core, this anxiety has really gotten to you in some way. You know what I'm saying? Like normally you tune it out, but you heard it, it got to you. So, retreat retreat take a step back really reflect and then what i need you to say aquarius when you come out of it is who gives a damn and i was right the whole time you know this is the one time where i'm like aquarius uh, you know you're right you know like listen to yourself listen to your heart aquarius you actually have the right idea and if you forgot what it is because you've been listening to so much noise around you you know if you are a, a celebrity or you are trying to be or you're trying to be in the entertainment field and you've been listening to your manager your agent you know your your mom <laughs> it's too much you got to get back to who you are what you know the knowledge that you brought in in order to get to the next level all right and if it's just a business your business consultant firm sometimes it's just between you and spirit okay and be confident in those ideas and just go with your gut if somebody says something and your gut reaction is "Ooh, i like that go with that if your gut reaction is mm, i don't know go with that that is the power of the divine that is how he communicates to you but it seems like it's been muddled you've been muddled all right you've been stifled in some way um, and you're going to be coming out of it, but it seems like the rest of May, probably the end of May, before you get in down with the shits, you know what I'm saying? It seems like you're going to be taking some time for yourself, okay? Um, and that's that's more than welcome, because once you decide to come out of this four swords, you're stepping straight into the Queen of Wands energy, which is, I'm here, look at me, you know, and people are like, why, yes, I will look at you. You are quite attractive. You know, it's one of those where it's mutual. <laughs> and so you're going to be receiving a lot of attention. Some passion is coming in for you guys. I do see a lot of offers coming in as far as like the summer. You guys are going to have a hot and heavy summer, Aquarius. Um, I'm not sure if you're into that, <laughs> if you're into it. But if you are looking for a nice 
fun summer, you know, where you can have your pickings. I do see that coming in for you guys. Just remember with your card of advice being here, the Ace of Pentacles, keep your feet on the ground. Keep your eyes on the prize, okay? You have the knowledge in order to build your success and wish fulfillment. It seems like a lot of you are going to be doing this through social capital to gain your, through social capital, you'll get your financial capital if that makes sense guys so this so social capital is all about how many followers you have on instagram it's just like who do you know what you know where are you in the world your location it has to do with who you're meeting who you're talking to who can you intermingle with <coughs> sorry who yeah talking to that throat chakra so communication is going to be a huge 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 thing for you to get to that next step but that social capital that you that you curated and that you've grown it's going to turn into some sort of finances, financial payoff, okay? You could have a contract, a long-term contract that comes in for you guys. So really awesome, 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 awesome stuff, guys. Um, please let me know if this resonates with you in the comment section below. Oops, I almost forgot. I have a number. <laughs> I'm going to pull oracles for you guys. And friendly reminder, um, please... Again, don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe, and check out the description box for information on how to book a personal reading with me, and also my Instagrams, okay? Um, but yeah, let's see, Aquarius, and then we can get you out of here. Let's get one more card for you, please. One card for Aquarius, please. One card for Aquarius, please, for the end of May 2019. Hmm. Blessed. And it came out just like that. I love it. I love it because you are and you're going to start receiving the blessings of your knowledge and and something is telling me about philanthropy because Aquarians always I feel like people forget that Uranus is also the planet your ruling planet Uranus is also the planet of phil philanthropy and helping people that's why at the start because it's healing all right it's charity and I think the more open that you are to giving and the bigger game plan that you have because a lot of you want to Heal the world. That's what you want to use this platform to do. And because of the pure intent that you have in your heart, I think the universe is seeing you. So make sure that you have the strategy and the game plan to receive it. Because if, like, you're going to fix the world, all right? If you're going to save the world, Aquarius, you know, how are you going to do it? You know, and that's going to have to do with your resources and your finances. And, and it's going to have to do a lot with you speaking, who you're speaking to, speaking in front of people, spreading the message, grassroots. For some of you guys, you're going to need to go door to door, whatever it is that you're trying to get across. I just got that really strong here with Bless because it's like you're doing God's work, if that makes sense, is what I heard. Like you're really setting a foundation because two and two gets to four. You're laying a foundation for God's work, if that makes sense. So some of you want to spread a message you're using your social capital to spread a message of helping and healing. And because of that, not like it's what comes first, the chicken or the egg, but it's just like you put the intent out to the universe to heal. They want to help aid because they see you doing it and working towards it. So that is really what I got for you. So leave the noise behind. Leave it behind. I, 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 I hate I hate seeing the Eight of Swords with Aquarius, doubting yourself, not believing that you are that spunky, cool cat that can go after and get what they want, all right? You you have the talk. You have the knowledge. When you walk into room, walk. I walk in room. They eyes wide, wide, wide. You know, like, when you walk in room, people see you. People want to know what you got going. And it seems like at this point in time, you are being blessed, ordained with being beautiful and radiant in order to shed this message and get and get it going to the next level, all right? And so that's all I see is just really leveling up, taking you to the next level. And what a beautiful thing, Aquarius. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. God speed to you on this journey, you know, particularly if you're doing light work or just helping and healing others, working with children, just stepping outside of yourself, you know, and trying to do something for the common collective. And Aquarians are known for that being their driving force. Um, so I do want to applaud you on this journey and you're stepping into it. All right. Just just do what's on your heart. You know what I'm saying? You're you're in you're in line and you're blessed. OK, the universe has your back. All right. So, yeah, Aquarius, that is what I got for you for the end of May 2019. Guys, please, please, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and check me out on Instagram. Godspeed. Peace out.